Hey guys, it's Dave from Fictive, and today we're going to show you how to cut your STL file using NetFab Basic, a free STL editor program uh, that's great for working with STLs. So as you can see here, we have a popular Mr. Left Shark from the Super Bowl, a Katy Perry favorite, and you can tell over here that it's just a little bit too big uh, for printing in PLA. So in order to reduce the cost and, and the time uh, to print them, because we can print it in parallel with two pieces, uh, we're going to show you how to cut this STL uh, to make it fit better. So if you don't already have NetFab, you can click on the link below, uh, which, which will take you to the NetFab uh, Download Center. Uh, it's free, it works on Linux, Mac, and Windows, and really recommend it if you're working with STLs. Um, so as you can see here, uh, what we're going to do is we're able to load in our STL file, Left Shark, and we can cut it along a specific axis. So in this case, I'm going to cut it along the Y axis um, so that we can have two halves that will print better and faster. So after you select your, your axis you want to cut along, you'll see a brief outline. By clicking Execute Cut, you're going to have a plane that comes up which shows you where that cut is going to be executed. Uh, so from here, all you have to do is press cut, and you're left with two different files. If we look at our tree view, uh, you'll see that it's created a folder of cut1, which is the top, and cut2, which is the bottom. We can even hide one here to show you the, the difference between the two cuts. So all that's left to do now is you just need to export these two cuts as a STL file. And so we can right click on one, export STL, and click that. Uh, sure, we'll put it in downloads, and we'll say save, and then we'll go to two, right click, and we'll go export part as an STL, uh, and we'll save that. And from there, all you have to do is upload your file, and uh, you can get them printed. Let us know if you have any questions.